we're very privileged to have with us uh, Alif Yenahan Kaya, who is the Network Planning Director for Turkcell, which, uh, as we know, is uh, in the world one of the most dynamic uh, uh, telco companies and is doing a lot of great things uh, as, as a leader in the space. I, I wonder if you could uh, uh, talk to us a little, little bit about uh, the 4G network and why you think the 4G network is good. Uh, we have started our 4G network deployment by, by 2016 and it's um, a young network, two and a half years network. But it's, uh, we have achieved a lot in the past two and a half years. So uh, it's 95% population coverage. And also we have the lowest drop ratios in Europe. And also we have the uh, highest throughput in terms of peak rates and average rates, uh, both in the country and in our region. So uh, we believe that we have done a very good job in such a short term and maybe have the LTE network in the world, I may say, because of the peak rates that we are reaching up to at the moment, because we can achieve 1.2 gigabits per second on speeds with our LTE network, because it's a 4.5G network, we call it. It's racing up with the 5G speeds that we see here today, because it's, uh, as you can see, it's around two gigabits, two and a half, three gigabits per second. Uh, so we believe that we have achieved a lot. You've also described some great, incredible reliability with your with your system as well. Which yeah, is, yeah, which exactly. Is quite, quite exactly. impressive. Now, now you've already done the uh, 5G POC testing. Uh, can you talk to us about your plans for 5G? Yeah, uh, we have started uh, 5G POC testing with our vendors, and, and uh, we started experiencing uh, 5G in our network. We have tested um, 3.5 gigahertz scenarios, 26 gigahertz scenarios, different use cases, uh, and we will be also trialing the mobility scenarios. Um, so we are at the moment happy with the POC results. Uh, what we plan for 5G a bit depends on the um, regulations and the country uh, because uh, we don't have any license yet in our country and also it depends on the necessity uh, from the customer because as we are a young LT network so we can use the spectrum between technologies so it's critical for us uh, yes to have the 5g experience and the use cases in our network but maybe uh, with the existing frequencies first and then uh, we can go for the new frequencies to enhance uh, the network. Could you share with us uh, what you envision some of the use cases would be for 5G in Turkey? The use cases, uh, we had an analysis, a deep dive, dive, dive analysis, because there are several use cases mentioned about 5G, but depending on the culture, the region, uh, the behavior of the people, it changes from country to country. So we had a deep dive analysis specific to Turkey. And what we see, the necessity is broadband access, first of all, uh, mm -hmm. because uh, we don't have 100% fiber penetration all over the country. So uh, we need to uh, bring up fiber-like speeds to homes. So fixed wireless access can be a, a good scenario for us. And, and uh, also we are concentrating on drones, uh, on AR, VR, uh, together with drones. And also we are concentrating on smart surveillance. Uh, these type of use cases, I believe, will take off first. Uh, and so what you're country. really describing are the technologies that, that are commonly referred to as a smart city, safe city uh, application. Yeah, exactly. It's matching with smart city also. Well, we certainly appreciate your coming and sharing your insights with us in terms of helping us understand what you're doing with the strong 4G network to provide the services and then looking forward to the future with 5G. Thank you very, very much. much. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. Thank you. Appreciate it.